What's up, everybody? Jordan Smith here with iProv. And to one of these sides, I've got Patrick Laughlin, also with iProv. Hey, Pat. Hey, Joe. How are you today, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's nice to see you again. I know. It's good to see you, too. That chair looks comfortable back there. Uh, yeah, that uh, that is... Uh, so, uh, I mean, the, the wife and I have basically been redecorating the house while we've been in quarantine. We got tired of looking at our own stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we've been using Facebook Marketplace to replace all of our stuff. Oh gosh. Yeah. Everybody is just hawking stuff left and right, and trading on Facebook Marketplace, right? It's the most fun game in the world. Uh, yeah. So the, we have a rule, though. For every one thing we buy, we have to sell two things. Oh, uh, I like that. So we've been using it as a way to get rid of, to get rid of our junk. And at like a, a kind of a, a net zero cost, right? Well, that's sort of the idea. And now if we can only get rid of the kids, we'd be in good shape. We'd be in good shape. <laughs> uh, Joe, let's talk about marketing message messaging today. You know, yeah. we, we talked about this last week uh, and we talked about how this is a really good time to sort of seize market share. But, yep. you know, if you're going to try to seize market share, let's talk about uh, how you do that. I think that's important. Uh, for folks out there that are interested in really doing something during this time with their market. Yeah, I think so too. And and more importantly, how to, uh, I don't know, just how to have fun with it. How to, how, to, how to put a little message of hope out there. It might sound silly and you might be watching this saying, oh, I'm a little bitty company or I'm low man on the totem pole in Oregon. I don't have much control over this. Well, um, I think you do. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, just some fun and kind of hopeful stuff that you can put out there um, and how to do that. Yeah. So two of my favorite spots have been, uh, have been uh, alcohol related, uh, you know, right around St. Patrick's day, right when we all went into quarantine, Guinness came out with this fantastic spot uh, saying, you know, yeah, there's no parade this year, but we'll march again. You, you've got to love that uh, that sort of spirit of hope. Uh, I think everybody was really scared. Uh, all Everything that you heard was, hey, we're going to be locked in our houses for the rest of our lives until we get a vaccine. And, you know, here's this company that says, ah, we, we got a, you know, 9,000 year lease and we, we, we've, we've been around for a couple hundred years. We know that we'll march again. This isn't the end yeah. of this. Uh, and I love that. Uh, the other one that I loved uh, that sort of reminded me of you uh, was for all of the extroverts that are having to live in quarantine was uh, was from Bullet Bourbon, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the commercial was just brilliant. You know, they yeah. they uh, they were asking all of the household appliances and anything that looked like it had a face in the house yep. uh, if they wanted to drink. And I thought that was I thought that was really good. Really fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I think that's really important right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that uh, the world is going to go back to some kind of normal. Uh, mm -hmm. And when it does, people are going to want some familiarity and they're going to want to associate with brands uh, that, you know, gave them a warm and fuzzy. So, so, Joe, tell us about some of the ways that brands can do that during times like this. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's kind of cliche or whatever you want to call it for everybody out there to talk about. Well, now you might not be getting sales, but now's the time to build your brand. And well, cool. What does that mean? Well, figure out what your own brand voice is. I love the examples that Pat gave, but that might not work for your specific organization. So I'd say if you want to break it down into steps, the very first thing is just be genuine. Um, you know, find your voice, whatever your voice is as an organization. Um, you know, skew that to something a little more fun and a little more hopeful um, because that's the stuff that's resonating right now. So I'd say that would be the first thing. Kind of take a step back and figure out um, what your message is and, 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 you know, what your why is and, and how that relays to a little glimmer of hope or some fun that you can express to people who might not be your customers today but could be um, two, three, five, 18 months from now. Yeah, I think, I think you're right, Jordan. I think it's really important to sort of stick to your authentic sort of voice. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're like a critical care hospital, it's probably a really bad idea to sort of put out uh, a bunch of jokes. Although, uh, I will say that the MedExpress ads that I've been seeing lately have been, you know, they've been pretty clever. Uh, yeah. But you know, they're not, they're, they've never been sort of that sincere brand. They've always sort of been that sort of 
quirky brand in their messaging. And so I think that digging into that more uh, and, and being, uh, being who you are as a company uh, is important. Uh, yeah, and maybe your brand voice is not um, funny. But that's fine, like the first example Pat gave. Um, you know, just talk about, again, you know, why you're here and why you're doing the things that you're doing as an organization. And I guarantee if you're just genuine enough and truthful enough, it's going to resonate with someone. Um, I, w I would say the second part to that, too, um, is just be helpful. I mean, that's a thing, too. I do not want to see another email about what a particular retail store is doing to make sure that, you know, what their their internal COVID policy is. Um, that's fine, but, but be a little bit more specific. Be helpful. We work with a... Um, a, a equestrian center of all things and some of the things that they're going to start to put out um, are just helpful advice to people who are wanting to get outdoors and do some things maybe you're not to the point where you want to come visit us and, and sign up for a lesson that's fine here's some outdoor activities to relieve stress that, that's that's family friendly that's easy and that's local i know we're going to start lo uh, highlighting some some local places where you can go to so um, Pat, I know you've got some examples of some brands being helpful that you like also. Well, I, I definitely have some examples of some brands that are not being helpful. You know, I mean, yeah. if I get another letter from a CEO telling me how they're practicing social distancing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I, it, I understand that they have to do it. They're, they're, you know, they've got investors, they, they have PR teams that are telling them this is a good idea. And, and it is, I mean, it is, you're, you're sort of hedging your bets. But at the same time, uh, I think people are searching for connection right now more than anything. Yeah. Uh, and sort of uh, empty process documents are really hollow. Uh, yeah. and, and the world is gonna go back to some kind of normal. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, and when it does, people are going to choose with their wallets and they're gonna choose the people that uh, made a connection with them in this time. Uh, yeah. You know? An example I, of, I already liked Guinness beer. I don't think I've ever had <laughs> bullet bourbon, but uh, yeah, I know. already like bullets, so we're good on that. But <laughs> even, um, you know, even uh, what I'm following a lot. I mean, these food trucks that are that are doing, um, you know, either it's donations or they're just parking in front of the hospital and and you know providing lunch to to, to all the healthcare workers that are out there. The um, the t-shirt companies that are that are spinning up their factories making masks. The the, the liquor distributors and manufacturers that are that are turning you know the the alcohol that they use for vodka or whiskey or moonshine or whatever into hand sanitizer and you know donating some of that and selling that also those are easy examples because they've already got something in their factory that they can repurpose to to fit what's going on now um, so even if you don't have those supplies just find some way to be helpful um, and, and and I mean I think that entertainment is helpful right now. I think so too. Yeah. Uh, I mean I know that uh, everyone but you has seen Tiger King, but you know we're all starting to run out of things to stream. The last uh, and and yeah. even ads are starting to become more entertaining than they used to be. Um, yeah. Uh, if you if you've got an online course to sell, I mean now is the time to be out there too. Uh, I I know that uh, I've been doing a whole lot of research on. Uh, sort of things that have been on the back burner for a long time and you know that those courses are starting to look more and more appealing so yeah so you know if you're an organization out there and, and you say well cool I keep hearing about everybody saying well now's a good time to get your your brand message across what is that well one figure it out what's your vision um, what's your voice right um, Two, be genuine use your own voice don't if people can can smell fakeness from a mile away don't be fake don't push out something funny for the sake of being funny be genuine use your voice it's okay to be genuine um, and three just find ways to be helpful or put out helpful messages out there so I think if you follow those three things those will at least be a good start yeah I agree Jordan I don't I don't think we can really add any more to that I think that it's a it's a pretty easy process uh, and if you need help, uh, there's lots of people out there in our line of work that are more than willing to jump in there right now. So sure. uh, yeah. don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah, uh, we're as an organization, we're trying to uh, see we're eating our own medicine. We're, we're helpful. So holler at us. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pat. 
Thanks, Joe. Good to see you. All right. See you guys next time.